Hey squad, welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. So today I wanna to do a little video response for my friend Steve over at Corsair Trainers. Uh, he did a whole video series about civil unrest and I will put a link to the video that I'm specifically referencing down in the description down below. Please make sure you check out that video. I'm not going to rehash the entire thing here. That would certainly be not fair to Steve, uh, but I really wanted to respond to a piece of that uh, and give my own personal take on this, right? So in the one of his last videos in the series, he was talking about the states that have stand your ground law and states that have duty to retreat law, like uh, obligation to retreat. So if you're, if you're in a situation that's gone a little kinetic, a little violent, or you feel like your life is threatened, some states require you, if you have the ability to, to leave. And some states say that you don't have to, right? So I know a lot of people in this community uh, have the, the mentality of I'm going to stand my ground and um, if somebody comes at me, they're, they're going to pay a price for that. 100% get, get that. I'm not trying to change anybody's opinion on this. I understand. I support, support your right to defend yourself. Believe me, I support your right to defend yourself. I just have a slightly different take on it and I want to throw this out there for you to think about. Uh, so you guys know if you're if you've been around my channel for a while, you know I'm a first uh, I'm a therapist that works with first responders, and also work with some veterans. And uh, I I work with a lot of people who've had to take a life. And what I think most people don't realize, if you haven't had to do that, if you're if you're not a veteran that's served over in a combat area, or if you're not a law enforcement officer that's had to unfortunately take a life, is I think a lot of people think like, well, yeah, I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm gonna if somebody tries to hurt me or my family, I'm gonna take them out. And if somebody comes in my house, I'm gonna defend myself. I'll just say that. If somebody tries to hurt my wife, I'm gonna defend her. Uh, so I get that. But I think I have, maybe I have a different perspective because of the work that I do where even though I live in a state where I can stand my ground, my mentality is probably gonna be if I can retreat, I'm going to retreat, okay? Because I think most people don't realize the emotional toll and the after effects that's gonna happen even if you are justified, even if it's self-defense, that there there can be a huge price to pay on your mental health, okay? And uh, I know many, many guys who were infantry, uh, hardened Marines who had to do stuff for their duty for their country and to protect other lives. And they were completely justified in their actions. And I know many law enforcement officers who have had to do this to stop somebody from hurting somebody else. And they're completely justified in their actions. But that being said, many of them also paid a horrible mental toll for that, right? And most people don't, don't know that because you, you haven't had to experience it. And I haven't had to experience it, thank God. But I've seen what it can do to other people, right? So you may think like, oh, that wouldn't bother me. But I don't think any of us really know until you've been in that situation and unfortunately have had to do that. And what could you expect? Well, again, everybody's different. But some people, uh, some people might end up with getting nightmares, like really bad nightmares all the time, like frequently, maybe in some cases every night. You may get, you may be prone to flashbacks. You may be and, and if you don't know what that is, that's like when you re-experience the event and there's different levels of degrees of that from maybe just smelling a smell or hearing a sound and kind of remembering it to being fully immersed back in that memory. And those can be pretty awful for people. Uh, and you can have uh, panic attacks and you can have uh, anxiety about going to certain places that you used to enjoy. There's all kinds of, it can take a toll on your mood, which unfortunately could take a toll on your family or your coworkers. Uh, some people end up having to try to self-medicate with alcohol or drugs because these symptoms can get so intense, right? So there is, the good news is if you've ever had this, there's, there's help available. People like myself who are trained to help you recover from these things. It does not have to be a permanent debilitating condition. In many, many cases, in most cases, I would say in my experience, in most cases, we can get your symptoms way, way down. If you go see a trauma trained therapist, my personal recommendation is um, try to find somebody that's EMDR trained. Uh, if there's nobody like that in your area, then look for somebody who's at least trained in working with trauma patients. And uh, if you're a first responder or a veteran, maybe ask those questions or look on their, their bio to see if they are uh, specifically experienced with working with first responder trauma or veteran trauma because it's different than other types of trauma. Now, one, one last little point on this. Um, not everybody who experiences something like this is gonna get PTSD. There are different levels of this, right? So that's another myth. 
Um, you know, not all veterans are going to get PTSD. Not all officers are going to get PTSD. Uh, it, there's different levels of it. And some people might come out of it with just like a couple days where they feel shaken up by it. And sometimes it can last longer. Um, there, there's mild versions of flashbacks. There's somebody who maybe get maybe just nightmares once or twice a year. Um, somebody might just get a little bit more moody. Somebody might just get a little bit of our avoidance. So there's there's different uh, there's different ends of this spectrum on how intense that can get. But uh, if you're if you're having any of those symptoms again, I would encourage you to if it's going on for more than a couple of weeks, it's time to time to talk to somebody. You don't have to suffer with that. I promise you, there's help available for this. I promise you that there's great therapists out there who want to help you, who respect you, who care about you, who love the first responder community, who love our veterans, and we want to be able to take care of the heroes of this world, all right? So so don't feel like you have to suffer with that for the rest of your life. Um, in almost all cases, we can get the symptoms down and reduced. In many cases, I've gotten people's symptoms all the way down to zero. So, uh, so, so don't lose hope. If you're suffering with these things, please, please, please hear me out and go get your help. For the rest of us, it's just a little food for thought. I'm not telling anybody what to do when it comes to the defense of your life, your home, your family. Absolutely, I would never do that. I support everyone's right to, to self-defense and to protect yourself from the bad people in this world who would do bad things to you and your family. 100% support you. Just giving my thoughts on, from my perspective, which is which granted is skewed because of the work that I do as my primary job, that if I have the opportunity to walk away from an incident and safely can do that, I'm going to choose that. I'm not saying you have to. Know your local laws before you get yourself into a situation like that. This is why training uh, should include, your training should not just how you use your tools, if you know what I mean, but also your training should include some, some awareness of what your laws are in your area because they really do vary state by state. Folks, I hope you found this helpful. If you're brand new to the channel, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're uh, brand new to the channel, also consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the squad. And uh, don't forget to check in the description down below. I've got some links for some products that I think you will like, products that I think will help you on your preparedness journey. Keep planting your seeds, keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.